Imagine being dropped from an altitude of 400 kilometers, having to re-enter the atmosphere at a speed of 7.5 kilometers per second, while facing temperatures of more than 1600 degrees Celsius. This is the Odyssey awaiting IXV, Europe's intermediate experimental vehicle when it is launched on board of Vega. ESA's technological re-entry demonstrator is as big as a family car, with a cone shape to facilitate re-entry. The IXV has a lifting body shape, so basically it's different from a capsule. And the peculiarity of this uh, shape is that uh, interacting with the atmosphere while it re-enters uh, from, from space is capable to generate a lift. And so uh, this allows the vehicle to be guided uh, during its re-entry and this allows to reach a more uh, precise point uh, during the re-entry. During its two-hour flight, IXV will try to better understand the interaction between environmental pressures and structural components of the space vehicle and it will test new materials to avoid burning up during re-entry. The vehicle is uh, filled up with more than 300 sensors uh, to investigate the critical aerothermodynamic phenomena. Then it integrates uh, advanced uh, um, uh, thermal protection systems made by ceramic matrix composites as well as ablative systems. A third important objective of this mission is to understand how to improve guiding the space vehicle through this very tough journey. We need to be able to guide the space vehicle so that it can navigate through the atmosphere with the right angles that will allow the vehicle to withstand the pressures and frictions which occur during re-entry. The knowledge gained by IXV will add to the data provided by its predecessor. The atmospheric re-entry demonstrator launched on the third Ariane 5 flight in 1998. During its mission, the ARD recorded and transmitted to the ground more than 200 critical parameters for analysis of the flight and behavior of onboard equipment. Compared to the simple ARD capsule, IXV's lifting body shape, new materials and advanced in-flight technologies, such as guidance navigation control, increase the scientists' expectations. Mastering re-entry technologies is key for a wide range of applications in future space transportation, including planetary exploration, returning samples back to Earth, and sending astronauts into space. It can also open the doors to the future development of European reusable launcher stages.